All them niggas on the block, they be dealing that You see the trunk got, I flood the hood with the I'm bringing the sprinklers out, even when there's a drought I got bass I got bass the huge street race was shut down early this morning with almost 190 people arrested. This happened in Ontario, where 12 police departments joined forces to impound 74 cars in the street racing bust. Christina Gonzalez is there live with more on how police are targeting illegal racing. Christina. Yeah, not only are we going to tell you how they did it, we're going to actually show you how they did it. Take a look at this. Street racing in Ontario. All of a sudden, they go from racing one another to racing out of there, trying to get away from police. Pretty much did a block in. All these officers congregated on both sides, blocked everybody in. They came from both ends. Like seven cars, seven cop cars on each side. There was no way to get out. Go ahead and step out of the car for him, Miguel. Turn around for him. Any weapons or anything on you? My racer? No, I just came out to just check out everything, make, you know, show my car, put money into my car, a lot of money. Come on. Neighbor, can I touch off? Approximately 187 arrests. Um, 47 of those were juveniles. Um, there were three adults that were actually arrested um, for a uh, street race that was seen in progress. Okay, right now you're being uh, placed under arrest for illegal street racing. Do you understand? Even spectators are booked. In the city of Ontario, uh, spectating at an illegal street race is a misdemeanor crime, and uh, it's something that you're going to go to jail for. Everybody. All the cars went, everybody went to jail. All the passengers inside all these vehicles, all the drivers, everybody went to jail. As for the vehicles, all 74 impounded. It looks like there might be a couple of them that might be destroyed for uh, having stolen engines and stuff like that in them. I'm, I should listen to my mom. Now I got this and this. There ain't gonna be no more racing. Adding insult to injury, the miners were also hit with a curfew violation. Although at the end they were all released to their parents or guardians. Live in Ontario, I'm Christina Gonzalez, Fox Police Lane. in Ontario put the brakes on illegal street racing. It was a massive operation early this morning. Twelve different agencies took part in the raid. Officers converged on a huge crowd of people lined up along the 5200 block of East Airport Drive in Ontario. It's an area known to be popular with illegal street racers. Four people were arrested for alleged street racing, 184 more people were detained and ticketed for being spectators or for illegally modifying their engines. Many of them were juveniles, 74 vehicles were impounded. More than 180 people were arrested in a major bust on illegal street racing in Ontario. 74 cars were also impounded. Some 100 officers from seven different departments took part in the early morning raid. Officers say street racing has been an issue for years in the Inland Empire, but a recent task force has helped crack down on that problem. And we don't mess around and we like to combat this illegal street racing activity to save lives. There are people that die in street races and we just don't want that to happen in our city for, in that fact, the state of California. Officers say it took three busloads to transport all the people who were arrested. Getting busted for street racing isn't cheap. Officers say it can cost up to $5,000 in fines and attorney fees. See the trunk got, see the pots got, all them niggas on the block, they be dealing that. You see the trunk got, I flood the hood with the, I'm bringing the sprinklers out, even when there's a drought, I got bass.